So we're going to make some biochar here in the wood stove. And to make biochar, we're going to take a container. So we have a, a cookie tin uh, with a, a well-fitting lid. Uh, we've poked a hole in, took a nail, um, just poked a, a small hole in the lid of the containers, and then we fill them up. So. In this one, we have sawdust and wood chips. And in this other one, we have hemp and curd. So we're going to put the lids on. And we're going to put them in the fire. And then we're going to walk away. Uh, what's going to happen while uh, they sit in here? They're going to cook uh, in these cans, which the technical term would be a retort. They're going to heat up the volatile gases uh, from the wood, will expand out of the wood, and they'll shoot out the little hole we made, make a little flamethrower looking thing, and it'll light on fire. Um, but the wood inside itself will start to char and become charcoal. And that'll be the biochar. So here's our cans. We'll pull them out of the stove. A little hot. I'm going to put them in the ash bucket. Uh, for two reasons. One is to smother out um, in case there's any burning happening inside. Uh, and it's a good safe place to let them just cool because they're really hot. So I'll pull those out. I'll put the hole that I poked in them down. Put some ash over top of the hole so that it, so face down, put ash around the rim. Give it a few minutes, we'll come back and check them. We pulled the biochar uh, tins out of the stove. We smothered them for a little bit to make sure there's no fire in them. And now we're gonna check to see what we got. So here's the hemp. We have some hemp. Made some really nice biochar. Charred up real nice. All of it's burnt. Uh, you can take some out. You can see that it breaks up into a really fine powder. That's beautiful. Really nice biochar. And then we have our wood chips. Again, looking pretty good. You reach in there. Oh, this is really light and fluffy in there. It's, you can see some of the bigger pieces, but that just turns right into powder. Yeah, that makes really nice. You can just break that up. That would be lovely. So this style of small can, little hole in the top in your wood stove is one of the easiest ways to make biochar. So if you want to make biochar in your own home, find a little can, put a hole in the lid, uh, matchsticks, uh, cardboard, anything that used to be living that was, is dry, you can put in here, put in your wood stove, let it burn when your fire's out, or you can put in a campfire. Really simple. Just pull it out when it's done, cover the hole, let it smother, you're ready to go.